Part three of this, we're going to um, look at bevel tools and also the multi-cut tool, which is kind of the um, a more freeform way of adding edge loops. Okay, for beveling, um, I'm, we're actually going to look at our robot. Now, when you reopen your robot file, you will realize that your image plane may not be visible. There's two reasons this could be. One is if you went into your viewport and hid the image plane like I did, um, that would be one reason. Um, you could also have hidden your visibility here in the layer editor. And the final place would be um, if your image plane got disconnected somehow. So if that happens to you, like if you move computers and you need to reconnect it, um, you can go into your attribute editor, which is the kitchen sink of all of your um, kind of settings. And under image name, you'll click this little folder and it will bring up an option where you can go and find your source images again and reconnect them. So far, when we have created spheres and cylinders out of cubes, we've been taking advantage of smooth preview mode in Maya, which looks like this. But what if you don't want your object to deform like this in smooth preview? The answer is holding edges. So just a reminder of hard surface view. The so shortcut is one. Select everything and press one. And for smooth preview, you can select an individual object and press three. This cube looks completely different in the two different modes. So if we want to reinforce the edges on this head so that they hold up in smooth preview, what we need to do is add edge loops that work as holding edges. Bevel is an option that creates nice soft edges similar to the beveled edges on everyday products like your iPhone or your sunglasses. Everything has a slight curve on the edge. One way to tell an object is 3D is if it doesn't have beveled edges and it actually has these pinpoint sharp edges. A uh, bevel is a sloping surface or curved edge. Um, nothing in the real world. Objects have different size bevels depending on their function. So the edges of a coffee cup, for example, may be highly beveled or highly curved versus the edge of your keys, which aren't so um, curved. So form is defined by function. To bevel, we are either going to select edges or an entire face. To show you what I mean, I'm going to start selecting by edges. So this button here. If I hold down shift, I can select multiple edges. And then I'm going to hit the bevel button. So right away, I'm getting this option box, which allows me to change the fraction. You can think of fraction as the percentage. So 0.5 is the equivalent of 50% fraction. Um, and that's 0.1 is about 10% or is 10% of the edge. Now, if I add this little bevel, let me now go back and turn on smooth preview mode. So it helped, but it's not 100% holding. It's still got quite a um, curve to it. So let's go back. If instead I selected this whole object and beveled, and change my fraction to 0.1, so 10%. Now let's take a look. 
Now, because I added these extra edges all the way around, it's holding onto its shape better. So you can play with the option of fraction. The higher you fraction it, the more curved it's going to be all the way to this crazy looking shape. The other thing you can do is add segments. So segments are just gonna add one additional edge loop, which serves as a holding edge. And it's actually incredibly effective if you add two segments rather than just one. Um, so you see the difference between here's two and there's one. One more Maya quirk, rather than typing in these numbers here, if you hold your cursor over the option box and fractions and just move, click and move your cursor right and left, it will actually let you kind of toggle through all these options. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's actually kind of nice. Um, so let's see, you can mess with your segments. You can add as many as you want. So I'm actually really liking this one. Um, but if you add too many segments, you're just going to overload your computer. Um, so just use the minimum amount of segments to keep your holding edges. So the last way um, that we're gonna discuss today, there's still many, many ways of adding edges. Um, but the last way is the multi-cut tool. And the multi-cut tool is a kind of free form way of drawing edges. It can get you into a lot of trouble, um, especially as far as n-gons go. I just, it's tempting to do something like this and just create one loosey-goosey edge. But now I've created, this face has five sides. So that is now an end gone. Underneath is an end gone. So that is a big no no. So the way you want to use your multi cut tool is by holding down, I believe it's control, um, and creating your edge, edges as edge loops rather than as single parts like I just did. So hold down control. And now wherever you click and drag, you are adding edge loops. This is kind of fun. Um, you can easily get carried away. I know I have. Um, but it can help you with um, placing or creating faces that you can later extrude. Um, let's just see what we just monstrosity I just created. There we go, lots of edges. But now I could select these edges and extrude them. To add like a weird looking belt kind of thing. Um, I could go back to my multi-cut tool and hold down control and try and add some holding edges here so that my belt isn't so loosey-goosey smooth. I could go up to my face. Now, if I just use my multi-cut tool on this surface here, thinking I'm gonna multi-cut my head, it's not gonna work. I have to select the head and then turn on your multi-cut tool again. So hold down Control, I'm gonna click and uh, sometimes it's easier to you turn on hard surface mode to see where you're making your edges here so i'm going to try and make some places for eyes my eyes are a little low okay so now i'm going to select these faces and extrude them in to make eyes. So to get rid of your multi-cut tool, you're gonna have to go to your selection tool. Select I1, I2, Command E to extrude, and I'm gonna push my little eyes in. Now this looks great because it's in hard surface mode, but I'm gonna need to add holding edges if I turn this into smooth mode. 
So I could do that with my multi-cut tool. Um, hold down control and click. I will show you guys better ways to create topology, but for today's tutorial, I'm running out of time. Um, you can also add holding edges in here. Oops, escape inside the eyeballs and inside the back so you can get really carried away um, but these are some ways to add some smoothness and personality to your robot and um, so for this week try and add some detail holding edges and bevel um, I will create a tutorial on how to do the hands um, on Monday. Sorry, I was running behind this week. But um, give it a shot. Email me if you have questions, and I will be here till the end of class. Thanks.